hello guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be explaining another important tool in the fractals which is the spread monster i'm going to be explaining this tool in a very low speed because i know that a lot of new guys are watching this and they want to grasp the knowledge very slowly so as to clear their basics if somebody wants to watch in a much higher speed they can just increase the speed to 1.5x or 2x according to their own convenience Starting out, in the spread monster, we have three graphs, the volatility, the density, and the odds. First of all, we're going to be talking about the odds graph, okay? But before that, I want to explain to you the toolbox right here. So basically, the system gives you the freedom to look at the amount of days you have. Basically, you can choose the amount of days amongst these. You can look forward 10 days using this tool, okay? In the density graph i'm not going to be explaining this right now okay from tuesday to monday that is 10 days so the market basically you can just predict the market using this tool forward looking 10 days okay as simple as that i'm going to be explaining on the one forward looking out creation okay to make stuff easier now you must be seeing these hl matching and the weekday matching so basically HL matching uses the uh, current H or L value. For example, you have the L value 2. So basically it's going to take all the L2s in the previous uh, data of 200 days and give you data according to that. And the weekday, as the name, some name suggests, it takes all the Tuesdays from the previous market data of the 200 days I've chosen right here and gives you data according to that most of the times you should use the HL matching it is the most uh, tested data so it's gonna be working out the best for you right now okay I have tried big day I haven't found such great results with it I don't know the HL matching in itself is more accurate okay as simple as that it's just experience okay I think so I've explained this tool pretty much right here now coming back to the volatility graph basically you have the most important the 50% line right here and the 75% line okay basically I'm gonna be explaining the medians first the medians the idea this suggests is that we only have 50% odds to break these medians I know yeah, it's pretty much interesting to just even hear this. Yes, a system is telling you that we only have 50% odds to break 480.78 on a Tuesday, 22nd of July, 2024. Yes, the system is very powerful, okay? You just do not take this for granted. Mr. Russell is working on the system very, very hard so that you guys can actually make money out of stock market. Okay. See, he was a market maker earlier. Okay. Taking money from you. Now he's helping you. Only thing he wants you to do is to watch these videos and do your homework so that you can actually just help yourself. Okay. As simple as that. These medians you have the long median, 50% odds to break that short median 50% odds to break that okay we have the wall long and the wall short okay what does the wall long and the wall short idea present as the name suggests it is basically a wall a resistance okay we only have 75% chance no sorry 25% chance to actually break this wall long same as for wall short only 25% odds to break that now those are playable odds want to see how see this on Friday we basically saw a long off from the wall chart see how playable this odds uh, data is right it's very powerful you just need to learn how to use this okay it's very very beneficial for all of us and it's gonna be beneficial if we just do your homework about the fractals and make yourself some money some genuine money now this tool will help you okay 
so basically i have explained to you the idea of the ball long and the ball short now we have the white line which is the apex so basically apex is the middle of the uh, volatility chain so basically it's a support of and the resist of level okay you are above it you are bullish you are below it you are bearish as simple as that now you must be seeing these odds right here 2.94 percent odds 2.13 percent odds now that is the maximum outliner so the system is screaming at you that we only have 3.13 percent odds to actually reach 473.11 same is for right here 493.12 we only have 2.94 percent odds right so that is complete outliner right we you open like at the 482.32 you cannot just expect the market to reach 493.12 you see very rarely it happens that the price gives a 10 point move but it's possible and you still get a resistance zone for that you don't no need to look at your linear charts to actually make out zones right forget your icd forget your support resistance this is the real data this is the packed up real data you want to look at make sense okay so this was all important stuff with the volatility volatility graph as you mess more with it you will make out more sense okay it's not very difficult it's just that if you watch this video this part of the video again and again it will make sense or if you just ask someone in the rcg to give you some charts about the volatility graph Everyone will be happy to help you if you're willing to help yourself. As simple as that. Okay, so moving on, we have the next feature, which is the volatility, sorry, the density graph. Okay, now we are going to be talking about the density graph. As the name suggests, it tells you where price will live the most with the use of density of color. As simple as that. Yeah, it's that simple. See here, the black region right here it's the most dense so it's telling you that price will stay in this region most of the time it's unlikely to break that zone the system is telling you that see the power of it it makes sense right as you go above into the more outliner zone the color lightens so it basically means that we have less probability of going up from here and we have less probability from going down from here basically the dense zone i'm gonna repeat the dense zone is the zone where price lives the most as simple as that of course you can see outliner okay so to control these outliners not control basically know the resistance and the support in the outliner zones we are given the sinusoidal waves these sinusoidal waves right here or spaghetti okay yeah mr russell named them uh named them spaghetti too for someone who doesn't want to call them sinusoid uh, sinusoidal waves because the name is in itself very complicated so you can call it spaghetti i'm gonna also gonna call it spaghetti okay basically these spaghetti are telling you the resistances as well as support okay you start out these all these waves or spaghetti start out from the previous day close from the monday close okay and they form resistance on their curvature so basically you see all these curvature right here these are resistances see all these curvatures right here these are supports one important thing i want to tell you guys about is the last line of defense okay the last line of defense setup are the best setups you guys will see with this sinusoidal or spaghetti graph okay but before that i want you guys to do is that just request one graph or just go back if you have fractals and look at the sinusoidal resistances and plot them out on your trading view chart to actually see how the data plays out okay just for an hypothetical situation let's say that you see an outliner and you want to look for support uh, for resistance right you are in this region and you want to look for resistance well the system gives you that the system is giving a resistance in the form of the spaghetti you mark this zone right here on your trading view chart 
that is the resistance backed by data no other resistance in the world is gonna be better than that okay it's made from data it's not your random things okay the linear chart is just random this is data this is all data and as, and as you guys must be aware mr milk says it again and again data is king right just believe just believe it you use this thing for one to two days and you will yourself realize that okay i'm done with the motivational stuff moving on we have the last line of defense to explain the last line of defense i'm going to be showing you this example right here we had for friday see this that is your last line of defense play you saw that in this last line of defense area we only had one wave left to take out means take out means to form a high above that and the price did not do that because it was already nearing an outsize move right we saw the last line of defense wave and we took resistance from it as simple as that we could have seen the same thing for below uh, below the previous day close for example price would have been right here and you should have been uh, seen uh, support from here. Okay, hypothetical situation. I showed you for above the previous day close. So you can actually just go back some data and look for support of from an outliner sinusoidal or spaghetti wave. As simple as that. Okay, now we are going to be talking about the next feature in the spread monster which is the most important and a bit complicated okay so all ears open now okay i want to talk to you guys about the uh, sinusoidal waves or the density graph is that you can actually use this with more days to load and get good amount of data for example i want to start looking at data from monday like i want to look at the whole week data Okay, I go forward five days, forward looking aggregations five days and look at the data. You see the HL matching is currently not giving the best data. So in this situation, yes, you can use the V. Yeah, perfect. Basically, now you have more settled data with the weekday matching. The high low matching data is a bit skewed, but the weekday matching data is fine now. Okay. We don't know the reason behind that, but the system figures it out itself. But we have the weekday matching, so it makes sense. Okay, you can use the weekly data to actually figure out your support and resistances. Here, the density is shown in the form of red color, and it fades out as you go into the more outliner area for either of the sides. As simple as that. Same thing, you can see here, these purple bars right here actually highs and lows and you must be seeing the support off from this sinusoidal wave right here you could have marked that out on your chart you could have made some money right it's that easy to actually use these charts for uh thursday we saw that we were actually just about to take perfect support from this last line of defense sinusoidal wave right makes sense same thing right here we were in a dense area of uh, waves so basically this was a hard cluster resistance and we took resistance from it as simple as that of course we could have seen the same thing for above the uh, for above the friday close but we did not see that because we saw that the market was tuned bearish with the splice data yes we're going to be talking about the splice data in the future video just stay around and do your homework okay don't worry, we're going to be talking about all this stuff in the fractals and we're going to be making it clear for you all. Okay, now we're going to move to the odds graph. Okay, so talking about the odds graph, I'm going to be explaining this graph right here. But before that, I want you guys to actually watch this video right here. Okay, this video. Now you must be seeing these two charts Now I'm going to be telling what I did with these charts. Okay, you are seeing this chart right here. So I just tilted this chart 
90 degree to the left hand side and we got something similar to this Galton board distribution or binomial distribution right here okay seeing the similarity okay we're gonna be talking about it about that in a minute now this thing right here is the main thing okay this chart it must be very confusing right generally you are very tuned to actually see the candles forming in such left to right form okay but in this distribution the price is actually forming left to right okay it's not really forming but basically you are forced to see the data from left to right hand side okay but to make it more clear for you all i just basically turn that graph horizontally so basically now it makes sense that how we need to look at the price distribution okay we are going to be talking about that in some time okay first of all i'm going to be resuming this video for you guys to look at the distribution of these balls okay to just give you guys the spoiler you are going to see that most of the times these balls are going to fall in this 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 and this zone and you must be wondering okay so what's the similarity in this graph and this graph sorry this galton board distribution right here see this normal price range you can call that that is the four zones right here most of the time price will stay in this normal price range rarely you will see that the uh, price will break that normal price range and goes into the outliner zones and for that we have the odds we're going to be talking about that okay now you must be seeing this uh, volatility distribution so we have the same thing right here we have the distributions for these balls and you seeing this curve right here right so it has the most height right here in this area in these four zones so that basically tells you that price will stay in this zone okay similar zone right here and the price did stay in that so that is an ideal situation am i right well yes and as this video plays out you're gonna see that most of the balls are gonna be falling in these four zones maximum these two okay maximum these two zones are gonna be the ones in which the balls are gonna be falling out of 500 okay for the ideal situations you are given that 123 balls should fall right here and 123 balls should fall right here okay now I'm going to be talking about the price distribution on this chart. Okay, I hope this is clear that this is the same volatility curve. And as this flattens out and goes into the more outliner zone, we have less probability of doing that. Okay, first, it is a great task for the price to actually break this normal price range. Of course, we can break it, but that will be an outliner situation as marked right here by the system. We're going to be talking about that here too. Don't worry. Now, you must be seeing this chart and be confused that how is the price distributed, right? Basically, just understand that for a minute, this is your linear chart, okay? You must be seeing that the linear chart, the price somewhat forms like this, right? You have the distribution of price like this. But here, the price is somewhat forming like this, okay? It's going from right to left. It's just that, okay? He, uh, Mr. Russell, the creator of this tool, basically wanted to form it like this. So it's his choice, okay? But we can definitely understand it. It's not complicated at all. You just need to look at it one to two times and you will understand, okay? Like this, I'm showing you in a video, right? Now, you must be seeing that right here. The, just give me a minute. The balls are at, actually the most of the balls actually fell into these four zones right so that is your normal price range see it makes sense now i hope so okay so now we are going to be moving to the odds graph and now i'm going to be explaining these odds you must be seeing right here right you have the normal price range right here you mark that that acts as your normal support and resistance now you have these two data sets okay 
this data set I'm talking about. So basically, here you're seeing this data set right here. That is your data set one. This data set right here, that is your data set two. Okay, you can just you know order them according to your convenience. I'm just trying to explain. This red arrow, this ray right here, you are saying basically that tells you the resistance. And in this data set one, this ray you are seeing that tells you the support probabilities and the resistance probabilities right here. Okay, all these odds right here basically are actionable odds, and the most beautiful playable setups you see are from the 2% to 1% odds area because like that is complete outliner and the system is screaming at you that we only have 1% chance to actually continue from there okay here for example let's say the price reaches uh, 490.70 for that particular day which was Tuesday right it's a one day forward so the system is telling you that we only have 1.4% chance to actually break the 490.91 resistance see how it makes sense see how these odds are actually playable i hope so well the most important odds are these only these 4.1 the 4.41 2.94 1.47 all these in the like outside the normal price range okay i will suggest you all if you have a trading view account just mark them out on your charts and see the after results of course on the outliner days okay it's not gonna make sense to use them actually on normal days okay for normal days you have the odds right here for uh, supports you have it right here okay for resistance up in the red red region you have it right here okay as simple as that nothing complicated about this whole tool okay you guys can look at two to three more charts if you want to look at to actually get more clear understanding okay the, this is the recent chart we had this was for friday uh 25th for uh, 25th of july 2024 okay same we have the same thing right here the odds we have the playable odds the one percent near odds ten percent fourteen percent all the odds right here now all these are playable okay we actually got above the normal price range but we resisted from this odds region now let's see what were the odds of us actually breaking this 466.18 barrier well the system is telling you 7.89 percent so basically the system is screaming at you that yeah you should short off that basically you have what 93 points uh 92 points something something chance of actually seeing resistance from there and not a continue not a continuation well yes that is what the data is telling you as simple as that now one last thing i can tell you is that we have the intersection okay you're seeing this uh, green frequency and this red frequency where these two intersect is actually your intersection now you must be wondering okay how is this intersection gonna help me well just like the apex this is the long off and the short off area or of course price point basically you can just uh, keep your cursor right here and we have it 458.94 as our intersection now in many cases you will see that the price will long off from here and short off from here okay here i have the weekday matching but in the hl matching we did see that we did take support from near the nor uh, the intersection okay now one last thing i think i should be talking about is the resistances and the supports on the frequency okay now i'm going to be using the weekday matching for it because i was finding the best uh, data on it see 
there you, wherever you see the the frequency flattening out that is that is your resistance as simple as that and you will see that on that resistance most of the times we have the odds okay we have the odds of breaking that resistance for example we had resistance right here what is the odds of us breaking that resistance 14.47 percent right what is the odds of breaking this resistance right here see the price flattening well only 11.84 percent to 9.21 something percent so basically you can just make out we have 90 percent probability of resisting from there okay now what was the uh, odds of us seeing continuation from there well only 7.89 percent we talked about that right well same is for the red frequency or the support frequency right we have the support right here well what is the chance of actually reaching that support well less than 22.37 percent right makes sense for example we have the outliner support right here now what is the odds of the market breaking that support 3.95 percent as simple as that you look at this chart for some more time on your own system or you request someone about this chart in the rcg group well you're gonna get the charts you want and you might get some kind of advice from our uh, members too okay we have a very helpful community we want people to grow and be good traders using the data of course okay now i think this is okay so one last tool i want to tell you guys about is the statistics basically it tells you the statistics of price getting above or below particular price points for example it also tells you that what is the probability of forming one edge or 4l for that particular day for example for 26th of july we had 75 percent probability of forming one edge which means that it gives you the probability of price getting above the pivot right this thing right here for friday and we did get above the pivot okay we did see the after result of it makes sense right from 3l right here we the price moved to one edge because we had almost 75% odds of that happening as simple as that okay simply we also have the normal uh, theoretical price points too of us getting above or below right for example we have only 21.43% chance of price getting below 457.49 okay so we get all these statistics right here which you can use too okay along with the odds graph data because like these two are pretty much correlating okay so the, these both can be extremely beneficial to you all so i hope that this video explained a lot of stuff about the spread monster if you still have some doubts you can actually ask in the professional trade launch or the general chat in the off market hours okay so I hope you guys have a really good day, stay safe and keep learning.